Now, by far the biggest addition to QSYS Designer 9.6 is the new QSYS Core models. So we have the Core 110F V2, we have the Core 610, and we have the new V-Core virtualized QSYS Core with the control feature license. Let's start with the Core 110F V2. This has been slightly redesigned to overcome challenges with component supply chain and to ensure a steady supply of Core 110F to our customers. The differences are that it doesn't have a front panel display, it doesn't have USB ports on the front panel, and it doesn't have GPIO. Otherwise, it's the same Core 110F that we all know and love. So that is now available in QCS Designer 9.6. Now the Core 610 is a new off-the-shelf server designed by Dell, but running our QCIS OS. So this is gonna essentially replace the Core 510. You've got very similar specifications in terms of the number of network channels, the number of AEC processors, and the DSP capability, but you now have the ability to add up to 256 channels of software-based Dante on the Core 610. The biggest difference between the Core 610 and the 510 is that the 610 does not have card slots. It's much smaller. And then of course you can use the QIO series instead of cards to add additional IO. And it also features a scaling license, much like the Core Nano and the Core 8 Flex, which lets you add another 50% of processing power. So this means 50% more network audio channels and DSP power. Now the last additional core model in Designer 9.6 isn't a new piece of hardware at all. It's the new V-Core, which is a virtualized QCIS core that you can run on compute hardware of your choice. Now this is perfect for smaller rooms where you want a control only core and you still want to make use of control QCIS peripherals like the QIO control series, the TSC series of course, and even products from Aterotech like the Axon C1. If you want to use this new core in 9.6, simply choose it from the core drop down menu as you would any hardware QCIS core. Now we do also have some audio hardware additions in 9.6 in the form of loudspeaker voicings. So we're adding the new ADC60 HP and HC series, which are ceiling speakers for more challenging spaces where you need very narrow directivity or a high power output. And also the new AD DWL series landscape loudspeaker and the companion subwoofer. So these will now be available as speaker voicings in the QSYS Designer inventory. To go along with that, we've also added the ability to completely disable power save on the CXQ amplifiers, should you want to do that. So that's nearly it from me. QCIS Designer 9.6 has a lot of new QCIS cores, some new audio hardware, and of course, lots of other bug fixes and improvements. Do check out the release notes for all the details, and of course, you can download Designer 9.6 today. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.